What's up, y'all? So, I'm going to show you guys a surprise very soon. You'll all find out where we're heading to. But, enjoy the trip for now. Hey, what's going on, everyone? So, um... Uh, Last time you saw me, I was having to deal with this GS500. Well, guess what? A uh, somewhat upgraded. Not really an upgrade if it's going from 2009 to 2004. But it's an upgrade because it's a 600 Jixer. Better than the 500. In many aspects. I'm saying, like, it's fuel injected, which is pretty awesome. I don't have to warm it up every time. It's not like the GS500 where it's all carburetor. So, um, we could do a 360 if you want to check it out. It's a little ugly, but I've been doing some work on it. I actually got it for $1,900 on Craigslist with all these scratches because it's been dropped before. But I changed out the pegs and uh, a few things make it more personalized and I softened it up with a with a sander but some asshole ended up hitting me driving his car sideways into me oh, you can see that that's his tire right there insurance claim right there saw that I should have got money for it damn near ruined my bike alright well let's uh, take it for a spin Oh yeah! So it needs some work, but guess what? It's riding like a champ. Oh damn. <laughs> that was funny. So, uh... Let's go for a spin! It's been a while since I've done this. There's always traffic on this road. Always. I'm just hoping that I can get through it easily. And I get hit by one of these assholes. As a matter of fact, I've gotten hit once by a car. That was this little tire mark I showed you. He actually went sideways into my motorcycle. He didn't just do it out of nowhere, in case you guys are wondering. He actually pulled a gun out on me. And, like, it got me so frustrated because I couldn't do anything about it. And so I pushed his mirror in. And right when I pushed his mirror in, he took his car and rammed it sideways into my bike. Made me jump like a foot to the side. Yeah, this was all on the highway, by the way. And, uh... Scared the living crap out of me, and I took off. But somehow he like ended up catching up to me and calling insurance and telling them and uh, fucking dumbass. Why would you call insurance on that? He hit me, and like uh, basically he had this big old dent on his fender after he hit me. But I have this big old tire mark on my bike, which basically implied he turned his car right into me. It all started. Because I cut him off. And when I cut him off, it was because I drove in this double white line. I drove over it. And when I drove over it, he like started honking at me and driving really fast like he was going to rear end me. And that made me feel really uneasy. So, I stopped my bike in the middle of the highway in front of him. And I'm, I got out and I'm like, what the hell are you doing, man? Are you trying to fight? And then when I went up to his car, he pulls out his gun. He holds it in front of his stomach. And he's like, oh, you gonna fight? You, you wanna fight? I'm like, what the hell? You fucking dumbass, you're gonna shoot someone for a freaking traffic incident? And so I'm like, okay, I don't wanna do this. You're a dumbass, I don't wanna fight you. Okay, you got a gun. And so I backed out. I went back on my bike, and that's when I pushed his mirror in. When I pushed his mirror, he went, Bow, right into the side of my motorcycle. 
scared the living with Jesus out of me. I was surprised that I was actually still standing. So that was a little crazy war story I experienced on the road so far. I mean, there are plenty more, but I just wasn't there to have the camera and record them ever. So, I'm going to carry my camera more often so people can see how to ride a damn motorcycle in Texas. It is painted now. I mean, there's one more paint job that I have to do. There's one more paint job I have to do, and that's to paint the clear coat over the decal stickers I put in. Oh, also, I gotta put in the signal lights. But other than that, it's like a new bike with the Yoshimura. Let's try uh, revving it. Fucking beast. What's up guys, I just got back from vacation and wanted to show you the ignition that someone messed up. They had stuck a screwdriver in there and prevented the key from working on it. So it won't turn it. Luckily I got on eBay and I was able to buy a whole uh, matching key set. If I would only just changed out the ignition then I would have to have used two keys which would have been a pain. So. I just changed everything out, but this is it. This is what happens when you get a sweet paint job and you turn your bike from ugly to how nice it is now, and uh, people will try stealing your bike. So um, make sure you have good preventive measures from people stealing your bike in the future, and uh, maybe get a big lock or bike chain like a big one like I had a, a little measly tiny one before and they broke right through it so make sure it's like tempered steel or something but um, that's it I guess I'm just going to have to throw this away or something keep for scraps alright peace